gonna start the vlogs off like midday, but it's actually like five o'clock. It's not even midday. It's like pretty evening. It's Monday, it's Memorial Day weekend, and we're about to give Bryson a bath. And I went a little overboard. I've seen so many Instagrams where they make like a elevated bath for their little kid. And I found some stuff on Amazon and I, like I said, I went a little overboard, but I'm trying to give Bryson a fun experience with his bath because he's transitioning slowly but surely from that like newborn bath situation to hopefully like a seated bath. Let me show you what I have. I found this like toy holder. It's like a little dinosaur. We'll put all the toys in there. This is like a little water spout, but it comes out in like a whole bunch of holes. So it'll be like really fun for him to play. It's a little heavy, honestly, right now for him, but eventually that'll be fun. And then I got him a bath seat. So right now he has this thing. I found this little bath mat, super duper cute. So I have some bath crayons. I feel like this is the one that he's gonna have fun with right now. The other ones are a little bit over his age range, but these float and he can kind of just hit on them and they make like noises and stuff and they float. I've seen this on Amazon. It's like a little bubble machine. And then this is a little like water fountain of a toy. And we have the ABCs and then some more toys there's like a little bath mat but what baby like catches fish i don't know i feel like if anyone bryson would because xander loves fishing so he would definitely teach him that and these are all toys to grow into and then i've always had this i actually take baths with this and this is something that i love if you've been following me for quite some time you probably already know i love it but it's this little universe light show kind of situation this one's called galaxy lamps and it makes the ceiling look like like you're literally in the universe it's really cool so let me set it up and we're gonna give bryson a bath like a fun bath sleep training we decided to get what well, i decided to get crumble cookies, crumble cookies. Oh, oh my goodness so we have confetti cake peanut butter brownie this is triple berry cobbler and then this is the cookie butter ice cream featuring this cough i don't know where to start <sighs> i don't know where to start either i do need water right, should we go left right yeah Finger. i think it's her turn it's always your turn. That's the rules of marriage. Do wives ever fill up their own water bottles? <laughs> no. Here, listen to this. This is a big water bottle. <laughs> we didn't even eat dinner. <clears throat> like, this is our dinner. Confetti cake. Whoa. I feel like I'm at a five-year-old birthday party. You like the best way, right? That's so good. I feel like the frosting is better than the actual cookie. Like the frosting is really good. Cookie, a little bland. This is like a seven. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good starter though. Mm -hmm. mm, next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a soft cookie if it's stuck in your throat. Peanut butter brownie. This is like... The next one? Well, it's got peanut butter in the cookie though. Um. That's also need to know. I'm gonna try that. It's like a two. I don't know. It kind of hits me. 
But you love chocolate peanut butter. In a weak spot. I'm going to give it a six. Triple berry cobbler. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. It needs ice cream. If that had ice cream warmed up, it would be really good. With ice cream, that'd be like a seven, but right now it's a three. Give it a four. This is the cookie butter ice cream featuring Biscoff. Cheers. Bang. Whoa. Whoa. That's like a nine. That's like nothing I've ever had. Like, mm. I've never tasted a cookie that tastes like this. Mm. Can we get another one? Come on. Home run, ladies and gentlemen. And the baseball player himself. I was impressed. Mmm, sticks that roof your mouth really good. Good morning. I'm wearing the most comfortable sweater ever. This is from Jenny Kane. We actually just passed by their store on Newberry Street in Boston. They have the most chic clothing. So this is their everyday sweater in taupe. Let me just tell you, it is so comfortable. Like it is so comfortable. I am looking for more everyday timeless pieces, which I've talked about in a separate vlog. And this is definitely timeless. I love the open cut here. It fits really well. It's just like a perfect lounging, but I can still kind of dress this up if I really wanted to. And then I have these turling lined mock clog. They are so comfortable. They are very well made. They have the like lined soft top a perfect house shoe in my opinion so yeah that's my fit it looks really cute they have a discount code for you guys if you go to jennykane.com slash renee you can get 15 percent off and use the promo code renee i'll link it all down below as well as these pieces they are california inspired clothing and they're made it's like minimalist meets luxury um and this is definitely the vibe that i'm getting so I am obsessed. I am cuddling my little munchkin. He's been doing really good at sleep training. I mean sleep training. I don't even know what sleep training is, but right now I'm just keeping him on like a schedule routine, which he honestly already kind of was on one. And he's been going to bed pretty easily. So I don't even know if it, we would call it sleep training, but he just woke up. He's a little grumpy. He just had a bottle of breast milk. I have been doing nothing but sitting here looking up apartments. I don't know, I'm just not finding anything that's sticking out. By the way, this is totally random. Look at my leg. Do you guys see my freaking bruise? It's really getting kind of bad. I was actually walking Bryson around in his stroller and it like hit a like empty brick or something and the stroller almost fell completely over. I grabbed it with my leg, which is why my leg's all bruised, and Xander was right next to me and grabbed it as well, but it was really scary. That's why you always lock in your babies when they're in their strollers, especially when you're walking around a city. But yeah, it really completely messed up my leg. It's so bad. Anyway, yeah, I've been doing nothing all day. I've been looking at apartments. I'm just not finding anything that's sticking out or standing out, and... To be quite honest, I probably shouldn't even be looking for another month, but I'm just at that point where I want to know what's going on. Like, where are we going? I want to have a plan. Like, I just don't like not having a plan. <laughs> so, um, I just got to be a little bit more patient. But I'm not finding anything that I like. Are you? No. You go sink. That's my nose. He's so cute. My mom should be coming a little bit later to help out so that I can go to the gym or I need to get my nails done. I don't know. I have limited time when you have a kid and someone's coming to help you, you're like, oh God, what do I do? Do I work? Do I sleep? Do I go get my nails done? Do I go grocery shopping? I think I would like to go work out. That would be the plan. Yeah? Can mommy work out? <laughs> yeah. He's so cute, Bubba. Say hello. Happy Wednesday. We've officially made it to the halfway mark of the week. I just took myself 
a little reset shower if you will i don't know there's like a few things that i do if i'm feeling like in a mood or like uncomfortable in any way taking a shower and cleaning up i used to rearrange my apartment a lot sparked a little spark up my butt to get on with life stop dwelling but i woke up this morning and just i am not feeling the best like i was watching some of my older content that used to be like had a bigger following what i've realized from my past content to the content now is that i'm letting life and situations stop me from like living i'm a very like battery operated person like i feel like if things aren't going well if i'm not inspired if things are on my mind it's really hard for me to like operate in day-to-day -day life you know connect with people and communicate and work like i'm the kind of person that if something's on my mind i just shut down like it's easier for me to just sit in bed and do nothing and just honestly wallow I feel like back in the day i would just film through that stuff and just being really open and communicating and i feel like it helped me a lot i think right now what i'm doing is shutting down and not filming through things you know i went through something super traumatic getting beat by life and then just shutting down and then going and shutting down and going and shutting down. it's like super inconsistent for me and it's driving me nuts i haven't been as open with you guys i feel like i've become a little bit more vain in terms terms of filming only what looks needs to look pretty or filming only the good parts in life and kind of dismissing all that behind the scenes stuff of becoming a new mom and you know struggles in life and dealing with hardships and all of that and i don't want to do that anymore like i really feel like it's hard to maintain sometimes i get a little frustrated with the way social media is changing I see like numbers drop or um different platforms progress in in content that i'm not so interested in and i feel almost the pressure to do that and i'm like i don't want to do that like i just i'm not going to be one of those people that spreads myself thin over a million different platforms just because it'll make me a buck i don't know like i've definitely changed i can see how i've changed watching my older content oh bryson's awake hold on also on I want to be creative again and I want to treat this as a career again like I want to have structure I want to have things that I'm excited to creatively put out there I used to do this thing where when I first started my channel I would do a third of what I knew would be popular in terms of my channel like things that people want law of attraction back in the day was also a big thing the third of creativity just like my kind of thing like not trying to get views just being honestly creative and then a third of what's trending so things that would be trending would be routine videos and all that kind of stuff I don't know I need to find some sort of like way to get back to myself and not hide when I'm feeling discouraged like live through those moments because that's what helps you grow that helps you connect to people and it's more honest so yeah i just woke up in like kind of a ugh, mood z and i kind of got into the little thing which you know happens with a baby <laughs> a lot of things that happen especially in the beginning of my days and i'm like oh it's already ruined it's like no it's not already ruined just like work through that that's life that's normal like things like this happen it doesn't mean that you have to give up and just like hide away like that's just i can't i, I can't do that i think i'm gonna edit a little bit this morning wait for bride to wake up it's 11 11 make a wish Speaking of rearranging, I've been wanting to move my couch back here to the middle. The reason why we moved it to begin with was because the rug was really dirty, because Nova and her like bleeding and stuff, it would make more sense to put the couch back in the middle. That looks so much better in my opinion. Nice. Plus, now we actually get a view of the outside like i can look over it's not to my back and then we also got the view of the tv the worst night didn't sleep well it was just not a good night and i woke up this morning and oddly feel like my creative juices are flowing i don't want to have excuses anymore i'm telling myself like i'm done i am going to enjoy my life i'm going to think positively i've been stuck on this like emotional loop that i think is becoming almost like a crutch and my norm which i'm not gonna let happen like i'm just fed up with that no more excuses like i'm not gonna feed into it i've created 
mindset habits that I've been accustomed to the past few months. Like with any new habit, it takes trial and error, right? And I, I talked about this before, a long, long time ago, but I used to be a big advocate in like the law of attraction and stuff like that. While I still believe in the power of your thoughts, I've never really actually been into the hocus pocus of all of it. Like I think some people go a little bit overboard. You have control over how you process your thoughts, right? And how you choose to live with those thoughts. I, I have this idea of who I want to be and who I want to become now that I'm a mom and now that my life has just kind of changed. And I think a way to get there is to visualize yourself, like your best, highest self of what you wanna be and not visualizing what you see other people have. I think that acting as if I have my best version of self already here and working on that and becoming that person, the more I act like that person, which I know I am deep inside, then eventually I will just be that best version of myself. So what do I have control over? That internal dialogue, my actions towards that internal dialogue. Updates to come. I don't need like a fresh start to start this. I'm just gonna do it over and over and over again until it becomes my norm. I have not used my computer in so long. Got my blue light glasses on. <sighs> I'm listening to my background music playlist. This is such a good work playlist. I'm obsessed. There's no lyrics or anything. It's just like very productive work flow state music. I'm getting so inspired just like writing all my thoughts. I did like a brain dump on my notes and now I'm like organizing them into being able to implement them and actually do them. And making a plan for myself is like helping so much. I'm like so motivated right now and i'm so excited for things to come like i literally have on here my intention for the whole year and that was to create good and i i want to see that through you know like just because i had a few bumps in the road and life got to me i'm not gonna let that stop me from doing what i set out to do and i really had good intentions at the beginning of the year and i really was so excited and life happens it happens to all of us so I don't know i'm like i'm just feeling really good i'm <laughs> i feel like having a plan and like just brain dumping and like organizing my brain dump it does a lot <laughs> i'm gonna continue to do this i'm just like in a flow and i haven't been in a flow in so long Well, we woke up to a fire, huge fire. I just saw tons of smoke. I ended up calling 911. That was a very exciting start to a Friday morning, I must say. I want to know what you guys want to see in my videos. So comment down below what you guys follow me for. Like, what's the purpose of this? Why do you like this channel? I want to make sure I'm giving you guys content that you enjoy, that you're subscribed to, and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys all in a future video. Bye.